Hey everybody, welcome back to Prepper Junkie. Today on the table we have a PSA GF3 named the American Bastard. I did not name it, that's what they called it. All right, let's get the review started. All right, folks, uh, let's start at the back here. Uh, on the back, we have a folding brace made by SB Tactical. As you probably know if you watch the channel, I love SB Tactical products. I think they are very good, uh, very good indeed. So we have that in the back here and it is folding, as I said. To fold it, sometimes we need a little bit of love. You're gonna go to the bottom here and just push up and you heard that click and just simply fold over like so making this a little more compact for traveling or storing or whatever you're doing. Uh, a lot of people ask, can you fire these when uh, this is closed over? The answer is absolutely, because uh, the charging handle is on this side. I can still get my hand on here and my finger is still on the trigger. Um, so yeah, you can absolutely fire that when it is closed. Um, no problem whatsoever. Uh, the brace is attached to a 1913 pick reel at the end here and to take this off if you want to change it out or put something else on just take that screw out right there change it to whatever you would like um, moving along if you're new to AKs uh, this is what they call the dust cover and we have a stamped receiver at the bottom here this part here is your takedown button we'll go over that in just a little bit in a second uh, moving along you have uh, PSA as PSA's enhanced uh, safety is what they did was they extended the tab out here with some texturing just so you can get your finger on there and manipulate that safety um, it works really well moving down we have this kind of uh, laminate uh, fake wood uh, grip with the texturing on the other side very classic look for AKs with a typical uh, grip angle and we have that wood up the top this fake wood up the top here also not a huge fan of this particular furniture to be honest with you I would probably change it out very inexpensive and very easy to do um, but this is what it does come with moving along here you have a really large uh, trigger guard here so you if you're wearing gloves or anything like that or if you just have big fingers you'll be able to get them in there just fine and the trigger they have in here is my favorite for AKs it's the uh, ALG AK trigger it's very very nice indeed it's a great upgrade if you don't have if you just have a plain AK uh, trigger in yours I highly recommend uh, these triggers they um, they have they're really they've got a really nice let's go just have a look here you got a little bit of take up really audible and tactile crisp break you can it's a really nice break you get a little bit of let out very tactile very audible uh, uh reset on that as well uh, with a, just a little bit of a let out it's a very nice trigger as i say i do highly recommend them moving along we have the standard paddle release mag on ak's um, i love paddle uh, release mags super intuitive for me um, i love them having look at my sp5 as well and i just love paddle mag releases very cool okay if you live in a free state, you get a 30 round uh, mag that comes with it. This one's just Magpul. You may receive a PSA mag. They do have their own branded mags out um, now as well. So it just depends. You might get either one. Uh, moving up, we have their rear sight here. This is the standard AK rear sight. You can go out to 800 yards with this. Um, if you can let me, I'm getting older. My eyes are definitely not what they used to be. The only thing I'm going to hit at 800 yards uh, with iron sights is maybe the side of a barn. Maybe. <laughs> um, so anyway, they did come with the iron sights here and it obviously co-witnesses with um, your front sight right here at the top. Uh, moving along, uh, this is your gas tube again with that fake furniture I mentioned before. I mean, it does look okay. Um, I'm just not in love with it. Um, but below this, I do love this rail that's on here. This is a TDI arms rail, and I think it looks absolutely awesome. Um, we've got some nice cutouts right here and an M-lock slot all around it. If you want to attach lights, lasers, I don't know, whatever you want to do. Or you maybe just cosmetically like the look of it. I think it looks freaking awesome. Um, personal. Well, personally, I think it looks awesome. Um, you do have a sling attachment right here. And then let's move to the barrel. The barrel is a 12.7 inch um, 40, 4150 uh, steel gas nitrate finish, gas nitrate, nitride finish. Um, it is a one in 10 twist on this. Um, yep, so that is your barrel. And then at the front here, we have a key mount brake. Um, obviously this is actually a dead air design for the mounting system. Um, I love dead air um, suppressors. I own a few. Um, and you, so it comes standard, which I love, so I don't have to change that out. And my suppressor obviously just goes straight on there. Um, if you haven't, if you're looking at suppressors, highly recommend checking a dead air out. They do make some really good suppressors. Um, again, for me, this is awesome because this is, you know, this is a hundred dollar part um, upgraded. And so, you know, if I if, if I bought this without, and I want to suppress. You know, I've got to fork out another hundred bucks to put that on and have somebody put it on for me. Um, it's got that super nice rail here, which I love. Um, and that trigger is freaking awesome too. I think cosmetically, this is one of the, 
sexiest um, AKs that um, PSA is currently producing. Um, and for me, I love the overall length at 12.7 inches also because it's not the same as ARs. When ARs, as you probably know, when you start reducing that barrel length, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna reduce that velocity. It's not so much the case with AKs, it's not really that much of a problem when you start reducing the barrel. <clears throat> so for me, with my, my stature too, I'm not the biggest fellow in the world. Um, and so for me, if I was gonna get an AK, I would get a shorter version, especially if I'm not losing that velocity. Um, and this one for me, is almost the perfect size for me, I feel like. Um, I absolutely, I've reviewed a lot of the AKs from PSA, and this is definitely up there with one of my favorites, if not my favorite, so uh, really, really cool. Overall construction is phenomenal. Um, the fit and finish is, is great. PSA does have a lifetime warranty of their firearms too, so if you ever have a problem with them, um, you can let them know and they'll fix it for you. Uh, but let's go ahead and, and just show you how to take this down real fast. Uh, take the mag out. Obviously make sure you are empty, which obviously we are. Now you can do one of two ways to take this down. You can just push the button in uh, past the ooh, past the dust cover. I always struggle with this a little bit. Or you can just take something, let me plastic, just push it in. This is the uh, chamber flag. Just push that in, pull that up. It's your dust cover. I actually just push the guide rod too far in. Let me put that back into place. Okay, so when you take it off, obviously this is how it looks. And this is your bolt carrier, your bolt and bolt carrier. Charging handle is attached to your bolt carrier. So this is a uh, reciprocating charging handle, meaning when this gun fires, this bolt and charging handle comes back and goes forward. And if it was non-reciprocating, that charging handle would just stay forward when it fired. So one of the things you've got to be aware with AKs is obviously this charging handle does come back. Keep your hands out of the way, make sure there's no obstructions or you might get a failure to fire or, or cause whatever issue. So just be aware of that. To take this down even further, just push that button forward a little bit. It's going to take it off of these tracks back here. So you pull that out with your guide rod and spring. And then you're simply going to pull back on your bolt and your bolt carrier. Uh, these are these parts are hammer forged parts along with the front trunnion. Um, so they're excellent quality parts. They're not cast or anything like that. These are really durable parts. And so put that down there. And then you come to your gas block. To take this off, there's this little lever right here on the side. And if you look, there's a piece here as you turn it, you can see it. I'm not gonna get it on camera, unfortunately, but when it goes straight up and down, like so, you can just slide out your gas, uh, gas tube like so. And that is it. And that is your stripped AK. And obviously just go in reverse to put it back together. All right, so obviously we're back together. You know, I was thinking, what would be the thing that would just make this even better for me? Obviously the furniture change out would be something I would do, but like not, not kind of cosmetically, what would be the ultimate thing for me? I think if they could change this barrel um, to a cold hammer forge barrel and their F, like a FN cold hammer forge barrel, like on their GF5 versions, that would be freaking phenomenal. As it stands, as I say, I freaking love the look of this. I love what they've done. Very, very cool. Okay. Shooting, uh, shooting was awesome. Guys, I'm only getting about 200, th to about 200 rounds through firearms at the moment. Um, so these are not obviously long-term um, reviews. This is just kind of a first impression, initial review of it, because uh, ammo is still kind of expensive, obviously, uh, to, to shoot. So in those 200 rounds, I had zero issues, just shooting tool ammo. I thought I had a pack around here somewhere, but I don't. Just shooting tool ammo, uh, nothing fancy steel cased. Um, but yeah, worked flawlessly, no problems whatsoever, as, as you would expect. Um, very happy indeed. Um, yeah, huge fan. Okay, so price point. These are coming in at approximately 1100 bucks, just short of 1100 bucks. Um, I think for the upgrades you're getting, um, you know, there's a couple of, couple hundred bucks in the upgrades straight out the bat. Let's say with your, your break up here, the rail and the awesome ALG trigger. It's a, I think it's a great buy. Again, I think this is one of my favorites that uh, PSA is making currently. So yeah, I definitely recommend. I think it's awesome. If you have any questions, any comments, please ask them below. I'm always happy to help out wherever I can. If you haven't hit that like and subscribe button, please do so. It doesn't cost you a dime, but it really helps me out and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And um, yeah, that's it. All right, folks, until next time, I'll catch you later.